the Vegas Hard Rock Hotel Casino, home of the legendary joint. The three judges at ringside for this contest will be Lisa Jampa, Dick Houck, and Dave Moretti. And inside the ring, your referee in charge of the action, Joe Cortez. And now, from the Vegas Hard Rock, 10 rounds of boxing, this is in the welterweight division. Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with silver, official weight, 145 pounds. His professional record, 39 victories, and 32 of those 39 victories by knockout. 12 defeats with four bouts, even from Tijuana, Mexico, Ernesto Baby Zepeda. And fighting out of the red corner, wearing black, official weight, also 145 pounds. His professional record, 16 fights with 15 victories, including 11 by knockout, only one defeat from Bacolod City, Philippines. He's the mighty Mark Melligan. All right, gentlemen, we one of the rules in the dressing room. Let's do the rules in the camerino. Espero una pelea limpia. I expect a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Escucho mis reglas at all momentos. Porque lo want it. Remember, guys, I'm fair, but I'm firm. Touch them up. We kick things off here now in our second fight of the evening. Mark Melligan, the 23-year-old from the Philippines, and Ernesto Zapata, the 32-year-old veteran from Tijuana, Mexico. Mention, of course, Melgan being a southpaw. And is it me or the 90% of the fighters that come from the Philippines uh, <laughs> happen to be left-handed? There are a lot, although uh, Donaire, really of course, are. an exception. And uh, But, it, what, Brian, do you think that a lot of the, the Filipino fighters are, end up being uh, left-handers? A lot of them con uh, converts to uh, left-handed fighters because they think it's, it's more difficult to fight a left-hander. That's intriguing. Earlier, of course, we talked about uh, uh, in our first fight, uh, Arceo switching from righty to lefty because he was worried he wouldn't get fights. But it is true when you're a left-hander, of course, there are inherent advantages. Yeah, different schools of thought. Zapata working to the body early. Melligan trying to use his jab and the straight left hand very effectively. Very different style. Zapata is fighting this fight compared to his last one when he fought the brother of Ricky Hatton, Matthew Hatton, lost a very close eight-round decision in May on one of the undercard of uh, Hatton's fight. I believe it was the fight with Pacquiao, yes. as a matter of fact. Um, and so this is a very different kind of opponent that he's fighting uh, in Melligan. I found that card to be quite interesting that it took place on the Cinco de Mayo with a, a Filipino and a Briton, a British guy. <laughs> yes, exactly. Which I guess if you mix them together, you get a Mexican. <laughs> 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 There's logic there. Is there logic there? Right, with the Spanish heritage, with the Filipino? I don't know. <laughs> I think there's logic there somewhere, Mario. I, I don't know how, but I think so. <laughs> and we'll give them your email address to send you all the letters. Under right. the <laughs> We're halfway through round one of this 10-rounder. Milligan having a lot of power, 11 knockouts in his 15 victories. See why with his his long left right left combinations and strong looking legs. Very big. He's got the Manny Pacquiao calves. Yeah, he really does. And uh, there's a punch that strays a bit low. And uh, Joe Cortez will give Melgan a, a little chance to walk it off. Brian Melligan is kind of a combination boxer puncher. Do you think he wants to be more of a boxer, or somewhere in there is there a guy that feels like he wants to sit down on his punches more? I think, I think he seems like he's a type of fighter that wants to sit down on his punches and, and just let his hands fly. The way he's fighting and the, the way his record shows with his 11 knockouts out of 15. He believes he has uh, powers in his hands and wants to use it in these type of fights. 
Straight left hand's been a good weapon for him so far in this fight. Zepeda pressing the action, but getting countered a bit. Big there's, left hand. There is that left we referenced, and boy, it moved Zepeda back and punctuates a very good first round for Mark Milligan. What's your time and what's your distance, okay? Follow up, I want to see double jabs, all right? And when you got him hurt, stay there, okay? You need to start doubling up on that jab. I want you to follow up with punches and move your head. Nice one-two punch followed by left hook. You're gonna replay with Mulligan catching Zepeda with a nice straight left hand. Milligan really laying into his punches. I'd like to see him settle down a little bit more with his punches, double up on that jab, but he clearly has power in both hands. So round one, uh, a good one for Mark Milligan, uh, the young man from the Philippines, taking on Ernesto Zepeda, the 32-year-old veteran from Tijuana. Uh, in round one, Milligan, Milligan landed 14 punches, only four by Zepeda. And in keeping with Mario Lopez's interesting uh, ethnic um, uh, theory, uh, Tony Martin, the coach of uh, Melgan, happens to be British. So Look they're that. continuing that theme. They're right, they certainly are. How did they get together? That's another good question. Well, that's the one thing I love about boxing. I mean, it is truly yep. an international sport. When you say world champion, you are a legitimate yep. world champion. And that's the strength of the sport right now, that you, internationally it is it is just exploded all over the world. And the world has become a smaller place. And I think American boxing fans, are, I think, are less jingoistic about the whole thing right now. I think we're ready to embrace, you know, fighters from all around the world. And truly, you're right. And you got the stadiums being sold out in the Philippines, in, in Britain, yep. and uh, just all over. So, and the fact that, that, that good fights just translate out, and I think yeah, uh, everybody can appreciate the talent. You're absolutely right. We're about halfway through round number two. It's Mario, Lo Mario Lopez and uh, Brian Velo. Gloria, IBF Junior Flyweight Champ, is uh, providing his expertise. I'm Al Bernstein, and we are delighted you joined us. So far, it's been a fun night of boxing. And here, Zepeda, in round two, has kind of found himself a place to work on the inside against Melligan. Yeah, he knows that he can't stay on the outside because of Melligan's yep. ability to, to cover ground with his right-left combination. Uh, Melligan needs to, you know, be careful not to, to get too... Yeah. too uh, uh, to you know, careless, uh, yeah, careless or, or or too predictable with throwing that right left combination. I mean, he's been throwing it with authority, but and there on the outside, Zepeda finds himself in some trouble against uh, Melligan, Mark Melligan, the southpaw on the left of your screen, the 23 year old from the Philippines. He's 15 1 and 0 has a um, nine-fight winning streak since losing by TKO to Yong Sung Kim. That was back uh, in 2007. And Al, you know, these types of fights are very important for a fighter like Milligan. Fighting against a veteran, somebody that might be able to take into those deep waters, these are really important in the development of a fighter who eventually, if they want to make the big money, has to step it up in competition and face... Uh, some some dangerous uh, some dangerous fighters who you really have to have it all together. Round two passes into the night and it had uh, some action in it, just like round one. Work, all right? Come on, relax. 
poquito más las manos, ¿ok? Sí, 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 Round three of this scheduled 10 rounder with Mark Milligan, the left hander on the left of your screen, against Ernesto Zepeda. It's been a fast paced two rounds. Nice uppercut oh. by Milligan gets in. That sort of caught him in the chin slash throat. <laughs> that doesn't end up. Zepeda having an intense look on his face, coming here to fight, being the aggressor. Milligan's corner was.